friends. So I very nearly didn't record this today, but then I felt like it was my moral and spiritual obligation to continue putting my voice into the world, even when it sometimes feels like that voice is um, not heard or misinterpreted or misunderstood because regardless of physical manifestations, that is just an accumulation of beliefs that I've previously held about myself and how I will be received by the world. So I will not allow myself to be limited by that. I recently have been going through some challenges and actually it's been a repeated cycle for a fair few years now of as I'm expressing more of who I am and I've made my daily practice very much about staying in tune with who I am and deepening that connection with self, deepening that connection to my nature. My whole life and world is revolved around that. My day is a moving prayer. My day is a moving meditation. There is not a single second I don't consider that I am connected with source or spirit. And miracles happen everywhere I go, all of the time. <laughs> And that can be really intense for other people who spend time with me. And I'm okay with that, actually. There is also a tendency for, even when the miracles happen or the good things happen, for people to overlay uh, a definition of what that magic or that miracle actually is based off of a filter of misinformed information of story, of previous trauma, of past experience. And I find myself often being the subject of people's blame or doubt or um, their negative energies. I become like a dumping ground, a spiritual and energetic dumping ground. And as someone who is deeply sensitive I can always feel these things being thrown my way or sent my way and I'm very adept now at not receiving it and returning it and saying no thank you this is not for me that's for you to sort out thank you very much <laughs> I have my own practices I have my own reality my own conscious creation and whilst I lovingly accept that we all choose our reality I lovingly accept that I am allowed the freedom to choose those who I invest my time into to co-create this reality with from my perspective I am quite happily choosing walks in nature and fusses with dogs over connecting with other humans sometimes much of the time and the reason I do the work I do the, the reason I'm called into shamanic practice and tarot reading and energy work in general is not necessarily for my love of humanity, but for my love of earth, my love of nature. Because so often I have been judged and discredited and blamed and that has kind of resulted in a really deep trauma for me in terms of how I show up and my automatic responses is to withdraw into myself, is to retreat within myself, is to retreat into nature. And that is a cycle that's happened again and again. So the first time it really deeply and truly happened in Vietnam was my boss was stealing from me. I was being fucked over by uh, friends and um, not so special friends. Uh, the TAs, the children, the staff, everything was like building up and building up and building up where I knew it was almost like this test of how much love do I have for myself and when can I walk away? And once I finally walked away and allowed myself to clear the energy that had been blamed and sent to me and I was sort of absorbing as my own because at this time I had very little awareness of what was happening in my life, I cancelled my relationships <laughs> like I couldn't cope I couldn't understand how to relate to people anymore because I could feel everything that they were feeling and I couldn't tell the difference between what I felt and what they felt and a lot of my life has basically been that pattern of me believing that my emotions were other people's emotions and as I've learnt and 
introspected and I mean by introspected I mean taking myself off grid for six months just to hear myself and feel myself and return to my nature and then return to my homeland and for about two to three years almost continuously put in place practice after practice after practice to hear myself deeper to understand more to clear cleanse align release clear cleanse align release my energy is clean I feel clean I feel delicious I'm not saying I'm perfect. I have my own cycles of karma that I observe and understand deeper and deeper each time they appear for me. But I am, by all intents and purposes, quite an emotionally free person, quite emotionally liberated these days, which for me is a huge, huge, huge achievement. So celebrating me, celebrating me, because no one else is fucking gonna, so I might as well. And what I noticed the most when I observe the world around me now is how much people want you to feel and buy into their emotional reality. And when you don't buy into that emotional reality, they have to learn how to relate to you in a, in a different kind of way. And sometimes that takes time. I think a lot of what I'm sharing will just go over people's heads a lot of the time. And it's not really until a few years down the line or the seed has been planted and nurtured for a little while in their reality that they can come back to me and understand, oh, this is what she meant. Oh, that really echoes in my heart now. Oh, I understand that deeper. And even when they come back, sometimes I'm like, yep, you still haven't got it, have you? <laughs> I can still feel it. And again, this is not me saying anything negative against people we all have our cycles we all have our paths and also there's like a lot of judgment towards me that I'm trying to address because when I address that and I put that in a place where this could help another person who might be in the same position as me or a similar position as me I share this for them I speak to those who can hear me I speak to those who choose to see me with love and I choose to invest my time and energy into spaces and places that actually value me and value other people. Because if the truth is told everywhere you go, you're going to piss people off. And I am committed to truth. So I have to choose the places and spaces that I show up in where that truth is appreciated and recognized. Otherwise, that is what will be the same reason they love you in the beginning is the same reason they hate you in the end, as Teal Swan says. And I've never felt more resonant with that, unfortunately, in this now moment. And I'm aware that that is a belief within myself. And I choose to consciously evolve that belief into something far more beneficial for myself and all involved. And so it is. And so it is. And so it is. I am embarking on a process of my own initiation over the next 10 days. I'm unsure if I will document it right now. Part of me feels I should and part of me feels like I just want to keep this for me. So we'll see. But I'm planning on fully immersing myself into my own reality and not allowing the voices from the outside to dictate to me the direction I next step in or even uh, disturb my peace. I just want some peace. I just want, I want peace for a while. I want people not throwing their judgments and emotions over the, the top of who I am or over the top of my words. I'm tired, you know, I want to re rest and recuperate because I know at least I take ownership of my shit. If I've done something that isn't quite how I want to behave, I check myself. I say, sit down, Peg, you know, humble yourself, girl, get down. You know, you, you want to do better than that. And guess what? Next time I, 90% of the time I do better. In fact, all of the time I do better with the awareness of that. And I do believe everyone else does that in their own way. It's just also quite challenging when you're someone who is really embarking and going deep into this world to fully be able to align with others who are also on that path and who are choosing consciously to see you in love and to see themselves in love, to gift that time and space and not take things personally. This is not directed at anyone in particular. This is just what's channeling through me in this now moment. I certainly feel like the future of communication, the future of relationship is really dependent upon how we behave over the next few years of our reality. 
And I will never give up on humanity as a species to be someone or something that can be a positive and universal uplifter for the nature that is gifting this earth. The biosphere of diversity all across this globe is nothing other than spectacular. And that is why I love traveling. That's why I wish I was traveling right this very second. There is so much nature that I wish to bless with my presence <laughs> bless with my my witnessing of its beauty and share that frequency in a space and a place that is actually going to benefit from and appreciate the transition perhaps more so than the human friends that I've created <laughs> at this stage of my life this is a really deep wound for me and I'm honoring that I don't need to be perfect. I don't need to power through this and become some self-proclaimed successful coach or, or business owner and in the process leave a part of myself behind. I want to make sure that all of me is taking the steps forward and thus these next 10 days are, are going to allow me to feel and see more of if this path is really truly for me or if I'm being guided in a direction that might ultimately serve the planet and myself in a far deeper more profound way regardless this has been quite a lot of fun to explore and delve into and yeah I know that I've changed people's perspectives and changed people's lives I know that one day with me or an hour on the phone is a truly transformational experience and I choose to transform through that experience regardless of who is in the, on the receiving end or in the other side of that co-creation. This next chapter of my life, I'm calling in people who can truly appreciate the gift of connection and who can truly see who I am, not just through a lens of pain and perception, but through an understanding of God and God expressed through other and through self and through connection in that moment, in all now moments. And so it is. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. It's a real pleasure and a privilege to share my heart with the world. And it's great to have a space that I feel like I can show up in this capacity to just channel what is coming through me, what needs to be shared. And I really hope that it changes someone's day and lets them know they're not alone. All unfolds in the perfect way. And so it is. Ciao.